So it has been a while since we last talked about Frush and Fit. Last time we caught up with their dynamic duo, Myron was crying about saving men. Saving children, right? That was great. But saving you guys is better. And Frogger, well, he was doing his usual thing looking confused. It's like he's constantly thinking about if he left the stove on at home, and it's all that occupies his brain. Over the last couple of months, I have noticed videos popping up in my recommendations, where the Fresh and Fit viewers call into their show just to roast Walter, calling him the useless, weak link on the show, who is essentially leeching off of Myron. From the outside looking in, it looks almost like you're leeching. So a lot of people look at you and they go, wait, man, I can do that better than he can. I can talk better than he can. So that's why people look at you and they go, yeah, I know, we don't really f*** with that guy. Objectively speaking, from the outside looking in, it looks like your progress is super slow. We see this other f***ing dude on the other side of the table working hard, day in, day out, losing sleep, grinding the whole time, talking about equipment, doing a whole bunch of other s***, and it just seems like you're just going to this club and twerking. Like. And while it is clear that they both have their roles in their success, we all know who's driving this ship. Either way, Walter is the star of today's video. Remember, this is the same man who claimed to have a body count in the thousands. So for me, I was at a point where three a day was easily done through Instagram, and that's what I did. I'm Myron Gaines, and my business partner, Fresh CEO, we're two guys pulling girls in one of the most competitive markets, Miami, Florida. We run a podcast helping men how to navigate the current sexual market. Our lay count is over the three figures. And also got finessed a few years back by some chick who was openly going around saying she finesses men for money. Could you at least tell the jury how long you've known her? One month. The first March. day that I met you, having that genuine conversation on the boat like on a yacht oh on the boat now i really bring fresh up today because our boy is in some hot water he woke up to that i'm late text after he did not strap up with a latex allegedly that is and this is the woman who is claiming to be pregnant with his child she leaked text messages and voicemails that were allegedly from frogger himself basically the man wants to cross the street without getting hit by a car he wants to abort the mission and she's not having any of that you always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. I love you and did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. I think I want to keep the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I want you to think carefully and take responsibility. So she wants to keep the baby, i.e. she wants a scholarship at the Frogger community for the next 18 years. Well, on the other hand, he just wants this situation to be over ASAP. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to nobody. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're related in the relate you're fing me for a month and I'm pregnant. The funniest part is this all goes directly against everything they preach not to do when it comes to men quote unquote protecting themselves. They shit on women all day who fit this exact profile to a T. And she actually managed to convince these guys that she comes from money and that she's somehow not a gold digger. He was out here buying her expensive gifts, tricking off his simp subscribers hard earned money. And the thing is, this all could have been very easily avoided. She even posts text messages from beforehand where she apparently had another pregnancy scare and she even told him that he would not be so lucky next time, insinuating that if he continued to shoot up her club, that she would get pregnant. Of course, after these texts started spreading around online, they had to come in with a response. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People fucking laugh at every time we fucking go through some bullshit. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I mean, the man is damn near breaking down in tears over his boy getting a thought pregnant. In fact, he broke down about this entire thing, yelling on his soapbox to the world about how hard their life is creating content on the edge. The thing is though, guys, this was not some one night stand. And while I do think her main motive in this situation is money, an opportunity for a better life, she also had a deeper relationship with this man, even going as far as to meet his mother apparently. You know, in some cultures, I think you meet the mother and they start throwing the rice, they start hearing wedding bells. The way she tells it, the two actually met back in November of last year. 
She ends up meeting his family, she meets his friends, he defends her from various allegations that his audience had dug up, and she even claims that they had a very serious conversation where he said that she was the one. I mean, the guy was allegedly out here telling her that he loves her. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. Let me think. So the baby news drops, it goes viral, Fresh and Fit react poorly, like so bad their lawyer even told them to shut up about it. But now is not the time to unleash the Kraken here. There is a lot being said right now, and I appreciate, Walter, that you are taking my advice and you are not saying it. Aubrey and Preach would then interview this mystery pregnant woman. And can we just take a moment to admire the pure pettiness of that entire concept? I mean, talk about pouring salt on the wound of your greatest nemesis. In this interview, Daisy does herself no favors. Well, he's just making him like make make him look like it is right now because clearly, like he made it made that on public and on the conversation you saw it. He calls me girlfriend, right? Are you gonna take someone to see your entire family if she's not your girlfriend? Travel to your home country? That's not reasonable. Then I ask her, well, why do you not want to be intense about monogamy, but you are rushing to have a kid? Yeah, I, I understand. I understand because um, I just felt like I am not, I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married. Or if, if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for like a week. So I do not find her to be trustworthy at all when it comes to her motives or how much she apparently loved Frogger. She says a whole lot of nothing here but did provide some receipts and evidence of the depth of their relationship. The funniest thing to come out of this situation though is when Fresh and Fit try and now say this chick is an escort who likes to con men out of their money. Now it makes sense why she has these four numbers contacting her. Now it makes sense why she's on video negotiating prices for certain favors. But then she's running around and telling Abba and Preach and all these other simps, Oh, I'm gonna escort and they're believing it. Oh, okay, I believe it. Hey man, like I said before, the truth will always come out. Which were the very allegations their audience had levied against her when they first popped out on their podcast together. <laughs> she took pictures that an escort would take. So she's still a, she's still a hoe. And you gave a hoe a $30,000 bracelet crash, so that's a hell. You got exposed. Yo, I saw pictures of her on an escort site where people clearly stole her photos and put it there. Bro, she's f***ing Miss China, dude. At the end of the day, admitting that about her just means that he fell in love and was prepared to have a child with not only a woman who he just met, but a woman who it should be apparent from the very jump, like the first second you see her, what she is most likely about. The red pill god himself potentially got got by the oldest trap in the book. And I can't say I did not see this coming as he's not exactly the brains of this operation. This other guy is out here likely putting hot sauce in his condoms and shit. And you know Myron is so pissed off about the optics of this garbage. He even suggests at this point that he is going to get her deported from the country for just bringing this entire situation about. And, and you best believe, I'm calling immigration on you. 100%. At the end of the day, these guys are just a couple of goofs. I think that I've finally let go of the fact that they were willing to have my channel deleted to censor my videos about them, as it has been a couple of years at this point. So congratulations to Frogger and Daisy on the potential kid. Let me know when that registry comes out. I'll be sure to send you guys a very nice bassinet.